Well, hello adventurers, and boy do we have a good one for you tonight. Welcome, welcome guys. It's number two in the soon to be ever popular series uh, that we're calling Bush League Mondays. I'm gonna do some backcountry Bush League flying. Did this thing a couple weeks ago. It all started just a couple, uh, maybe a month or so ago, I happened to notice Melvin Leroy and Downwind Sim doing some backcountry bush flying. Thought I would want to get in on a group flight with them. And we kind of turned it into a mini event. We you know, jointly published some information. We got together two weeks ago tonight and said, you know, we'll meet in, uh, meet in Boise, Idaho and do some flying in some of the smaller strips in and around the mountains just east of Boise. And it was a good time. We had, I think at one point we had 15 or 16 pilots total flying along with us. And it was just such a great time. We, we had said from the outset, if it, if it really took off from no pun intended or maybe pun intended, we would turn it into a, uh, maybe a monthly thing. And, and man, it was ever so successful, maybe more so than I even expected. I actually wanted to know, no, no, no maybe about it. It was way more successful than I expected it to be. And we've gotten quite a buzz, even after the event concluded, about when are we doing it again, and where are we going to go next time, and, and all this and all that. So we, we've definitely decided to make it a monthly thing, first Monday of every month, calling it the Bush League Mondays, and taking turns putting together itineraries in the uh, various uh, picturesque, terrain-filled, gravel strip bearing countryside of, uh, of the world. So tonight's the second one. Uh, Melvin Leroy has put together our itinerary for this evening. We're starting in uh, Punsey Mountain in British Columbia, Canada. And you can see we've already got some planes scattered around. Actually, if I can kind of look around, got quite a few of us already here at Punsey Mountain. If you want to join us, if you hadn't heard about this thing until just now, we... Uh, Old Trailders put a subscription in. Trailders here, Ken Pryor's here. We've got quite a few people saying hello to us already, but I just want to get the intros finished up so I can turn it over to Melvin Leroy and uh, and let him kind of let us know what we're doing. But it's, uh, what is it, C-Y-P-U, I think, right? Charlie Yankee Papa Uniform. And that's where we're going to take off from tonight, and Melvin Leroy can give us the lowdown as to where we're going from there. Here's the... Here's the sectional for the area that we're going to be in, but uh, I'm going to let him kind of describe what's going on, and I'll try and illustrate it along as, uh, as he talks so that we can kind of all understand what's going to be happening tonight. So, uh, very good. Let's go ahead and get the gentle folk in with us on the Discord channel. We got them on the Downwind Sim Discord on the voice chat. I, I, I invite you to jump into that if you haven't already, if you are flying along with us tonight. Uh, so, we will... Uh, so we'll jump in right now to the Downwind Sim voice channel on Discord, and we'll say hi to everybody. How's it going? Howdy. Welcome. Hey. Howdy, everyone. Howdy. Hello. Howdy. All righty. So, Melvin Leroy, you want to give us kind of a rundown of what we're going to start off with tonight? I'll try and draw it on the screen as we go. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, we are up in the Namaya Valley area of British Columbia in the Punsey Mountain Airport is to the north of the airstrips that we're going to be flying into. Actually, this is a scenery package from the super talented IP Nils. It's a freeware package, and it actually contains 12 airstrips. And so we're going to be flying the western six, basically, just uh, just about half of them, essentially. And, uh, yeah, so you've got the sectional, and what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to attempt to do is give you a little field-to-field uh, -field briefing and share some information about some visual waypoints uh, that you can can follow to uh, to fly into the different airfields. Most of them are fairly easy to find, but there are a few tricky ones. So, um, yeah, it's uh, that's kind of my role tonight. And we'll be doing, of course, uh, a lot of the back channel stuff on uh, Downwind Sims voice channel. And then I'm also going to post some information on his bush flying channel as well. So you'll have sort of the uh, the verbal description of where we're flying and then a little text reminder if you're like me and you can't remember things for 30 seconds you can refer back to those things all right very good we got somebody just arrived with us tonight and we got somebody just arrived with us tonight yeah that was me uh, that's affirmative agent b7 sounds like it welcome 
Very good. Okay. Well, uh, looks like we've got a pretty good gathering here. And uh, Melvin, if you want to kind of just give us an idea where the first destination is going to be. It's that way. <laughs> <laughs> So I understand I'm a little bit I'm a little bit quiet on the stream, so I will try to be louder a little bit. Uh, I don't know how to adjust that, but we are going to be departing to the west, and our our first airstrip is actually uh, it's called the Tatlayoko Lake Airstrip, and it's located on the north corner of the Tatlay. Tat Tatlayoko Lake. Uh, that won't be the worst name that I butcher tonight, by the way, but uh, it's a southwest departure down the river. Uh, basically, runway heading, we're going to depart uh, runway 23. We're going to turn south uh, past, you'll see Eagle Lake, which is a small lake to the south, and there's a little dirt road that uh, chases down to Eagle Lake. We'll turn south and follow that dirt road. The uh, the airstrip is, is located on that north corner of the lake, and then the runway alignment is 16 and 34 and we're going to suggest um we're going to suggest left traffic into runway 33 you will probably have to overfly this airstrip this is the hardest airstrip in the in the loop to find because it's located right next to the road and the road kind of stands out and the airstrip maybe doesn't quite stand out so overfly it uh and then jump into a left hand traffic pattern for uh, runway 33 and watch the fence by the way and and the trees on the other side all right, very good. I think I've drawn a reasonable facsimile of the plan for first leg, so hopefully everyone's on board and we can go ahead and get started. Yep, that looks good. All right, excellent. Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I see the. I saw the comments in the chat that the the balance was a little bit off. Um, it, with the balance where I have it now, you should be fine. But the. Uh, X pilot might be kind of booming over top of us, so I may have to do some more adjustments. But I'll keep working on that, guys. Please kind of keep me a, a, apprised of how things are sounding, and I'll, I'll do my best to address that while I'm hand flying the prop strikes, so, and uh, and the vodka and Red Bulls flowing too. So I don't know how I'm going to juggle all that, but we'll um, we'll do our best. <laughs> well, again, guys, the, uh, the all those things are just suggestions. If you have different weather or or you want to attempt a straight in or whatever. I mean, that's just, we just need to communicate on the CTAF. And so um, I will go ahead and line up and, and whoever would like to follow me is welcome to follow me. That's All right, right sounds traffic. good. November 11816, red and white Skyhawk. We'll be departing runway 23 uh, VFR to the southwest. And while he's PCR. doing that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get mine started. So I'm going to jump back into my airplane here and uh, get it going. Hey, and uh, as this is downwind sim and in uh, 748 Hotel Sierra, why don't, as you guys uh, depart, say your call sign, and if you're on Discord or have a Twitch handle, why don't you say that just so we can connect the, uh, the call signs with uh, who you are? Yeah, if you're streaming, please feel free to post a link in my stream chat or in the Discord channel as well. Either is fine. All right, let's get some mix going. Get the fuel pump running. Uh, you mean I have to take off my VR headset? Uh, start off, uh, any chance you still have uh, this uh, uh, this uh, chart you hand drawn? Because uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out where. Uh, yeah, let me see if I've still got it. I don't think I, st I still have the snip. Well, hold on. I'll just draw it again. And in case you're still in doubt, you can always follow... Because I'm going to look in the southwest here, and I can't find this... Uh, your colleague, uh, at all. Okay, so the link to the chart... You have the you have the sectional, right? You've got that PDF that was posted uh, yeah, absolutely. in... Yeah, absolutely. I have it opened, uh, actually, in uh, flatplane.com. Uh, I, uh, so I have uh, the full chart with the uh, zoomable and everything. Uh, okay, um, so we are just north of, it looks like, just north of 52 and just west of 124 is where we're starting from. Do you have that? Uh, yeah, I already found the uh, Ponzi Mountain and the uh, Ponzi Mountain Airport. Uh, it's uh, just below the uh, Ponzi Lake. Uh, so I know where we are, but I can't f find out where we head. Okay, no problem. So from there, we're going south and west along the river. 
and then we get to Eagle Lake, which is that second body of water just to the south and parallel. And after the uh, end of yeah, Eagle Lake, we Eagle do Lake. due south, and uh, to that first um, that first kind of north south body of water there is the and the very northern corner of that is where we're flying to. Uh, yeah, I found it. Tal Tatla Yuki Lake. Gazunte. That's exactly oh, okay, it. So I'm actually going to just uh, go ahead and uh, try to keep up uh, visual and uh, try not to uh, overtake everyone and uh, bring down uh, with my uh, wake because yeah, this also, thing also, is uh, a little too powerful. Also, B7, don't worry. There's a conga line. Like there's so many of us. It's you, you'll you'll see a lot of lights in the sky. Just follow the conga line. Yeah, don't worry too much about speed adjustment, guys. We're all going to regroup at each stop, so it won't be a big deal. And that's a very good point. Most of these airfields are fairly small, so when when you land, you're going to want to taxi kind of well clear and give plenty of room 13, for everybody. Thirteen, and then what's it and look so like? if you're Maybe the last one, one in, you're probably going to be down. the first one out type of deal. It's a runway two three here, so we'll just set that over there. All right, I think we're I think we're sunk. I mean, synced. Hudson Lake traffic, November. 318 Golf Charlie, make a little oh, room in the parking. I'm in bound direction. Coming through real hot. Let me get those settings fixed and, uh, for I, you guys. I think, I think somebody should go. Like, after... Yeah, Plenty Mountain, I'm well clear of uh, the airfield. Sorry about not checking in 11816. All right, I'll go after see. somebody else because I have no idea and I'm starting my stream. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to go after the DC 3. I've always been behind the DC 3. I'm going to <laughs> keep that going. Behind the DC3. Keep the tradition going. Keep I the mean, tradition it's alive. Hard to yeah. miss uh, a DC3 after all. Yeah, he'll be easy to follow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. So let me just—I'm completely hey, hosed my checklist up here. Are you here. guys dealing with real weather tonight? I turned uh, mine back on. Yeah. Real and real time. Okay. Oh wow, you guys are gonna make me feel bad if I don't have my weather on then. Yep. I would. Um, um, that's the point. Agent B7, okay. I would suggest setting your local time to 1400, and um, right, that should uh, give us enough time to make it around. Did. Okay, perfect. The altitude mode none gone. of these airfields have any lighting, and so if you're flying at yeah. night, you know, right, let's good make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Yeah, and also I'm going to be using the uh, tundra tires because uh, controls. Well, uh, let's see. Let's get all the controls synced. Yeah. Parking brake reset. Okay, we're good there. All right. When I get down to Tatla oh, cool. Lake, I'll turn my real weather on. Plenty of mountain traffic. Uh, Skyhawk, 748 okay. Hotel Feels Sierra. Feels good for now. We'll check it. The west. I'm going to check yeah. mark. That's probably a mistake. <laughs> uh, we, didn't trailer, we might have a couple helicopters tonight. I'm dragging tonight. my tail already. I'm spinning Let's it. Let's see. Uh, I guess as long as I get the a plane here, running. Oh, it's really avionics. windy. Did we get the avionics on? Yeah, we did. Whoa. Uh, fuel pump can come <laughs> off. Yeah, we're going to try this one again. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. He's flipping. He's flipping. Oh, no. Oh, Use real weather, they said. Oh, my God. I got on my shirt. Wind report 178 at 3 knots true. Right, I'm going to go ahead and get the November 521 X-ray Alpha. So I'm set for... Well, I don't know about three knots because uh, I, right after I loaded, I was uh, rocked by, like, uh, I don't know, uh, like uh, 20 to 30 knots gust. At least it uh, felt like... It felt like can always turn real weather off, at least the wind, because the wind's pretty crazy. Yeah, we're going to have to back that down. It's fine. Someone's <laughs> regretting his decision already. Fine. Oh, I see it down there. I, see it. I have almost no idea where I'm going. You, it was south. Just, just yeah. go south. You'll be fine. South, southwest. Yeah, you'll intercept a fairly good-sized river if you just oh, kind of wow. head, you know, like about 210 or so. Yeah, it's slightly uh, left off the runway. Yeah. And then like like Rob said, once you get down a ways, um, you'll you're gonna notice a small lake that's called Eagle Lake just to your south. Uh Kenny Monster says uh, real pilots do with the elements guys. <laughs> wow. Well where is she at? Is she here flying? Right. No, he he is not. Uh, he's one of my viewers. Oh, okay. I thought maybe he was here flying. Because I could Clear use a free lesson. I could use 
for this right, uh, tonight what's your estimation uh, Punxsy Mountain the traffic's the count 514 Delta Victor uh, departing runway 23 I'm VFR southbound and, uh, straight out departure Punxsy Mountain have some weird thoughts about how long it's been the throttle's going up get the tail flying yeah I'm not dealing with real weather Ooh. Not dealing with real weather, and I'm still still of taking off like kind of the one you want to like follow. Like a zigzag. It's the one you want to follow. Really, it takes you. It, when All it right, turns south, go. just follow it south. Whew. All right, we got an airborne without breaking Morning anything, traffic. guys. Super Cop, November two seven one Sierra Charlie. Make sure we got some airspeed uh, going, and then we'll get the flaps up. On main runway. All right, uh, I just took the tanks up. All right, so Punxsy Mountain, uh, uh, Scout 514, Delta Vickers clear, 2-3, uh, VFR, south, uh, southwest bound, Punxsy Mountain. Yeah, Agent Bravo 7, you just need to load that baby down with the cargo pod with as much stuff as you can fit in it. And the, <laughs> take the uh, uh, oh, yeah, 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 fairings yeah, 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 off right. and all that stuff. Yeah. The, the Kodiaks are support for those who crash. They have a right back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, that, that, that was harsh. Monty traffic, That's harsh. Super Cup, November. Wait, cargo port is Sierra almost uh, the Charlie external load, and the external load doesn't Monty count uh, into the uh, load and balance. So I, th so I think we can just, well, go crazy. And just fly flaps three the whole way, then maybe right. <laughs> These are all things I've done, by the way, not intentionally, but I'm like, why the heck? I think I actually flew a flight with you one time, Bravo 7, and I had, I couldn't get airspeed in my 150, and I couldn't figure out why until I landed, and I realized I'd flown with the notch of flaps the whole time. <laughs> I've, I've done TV. Fuzzy about traffic. Take uh, number two. Skyhawk <laughs> 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 748 Hotel Sierra, departing That's runway one order. two, two, what a, what is that? Two three. something? Two three. Two three, thank you. See you guys at the next stop. I'm so lost. <laughs> I should have paid attention. Just find someone to follow the next person. Yeah, during that briefing, you all were like, yeah, 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 Rob, shut up, we got this. <laughs> Why is the Cessna the worst me? Why is the Cessna the suppressed me? Okay. I totally forgot we're on Unicom 2, right? We are. Uh, who is right now taxiing right into me in front of the Congo? Uh, I'm off to the left of the runway. Uh, don't mind me, that was probably me. <laughs> uh, you I have to be, adjust uh, the winds wait, a little bit uh, more. Charlie, Skyhawk. Punxsy traffic, Skyhawk. Golf, Char Victor, Charlie, Foxtrot, departing runway 23 to the west. Yeah, I, I turned real weather off and I still took off like I was zigzagging. Hello and welcome, Dan. I, didn't, hey. I don't know. Justin, hello too. I don't think we said hi to you either. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm not sure I'm going to have to switch. I'm going to have to switch planes. This place is jump. This plane's jumping all over the place. Oh, God. One thing about yeah. me leading is I set the bar mighty low, fellas. Wow. Pick up, a lot of, pick up a lot of altitude here, so I'm going to drop down a little bit. That's me. What's the, uh, what's the field elevation at our first stop? I'm following you. Okay. Uh, I'm uh, seeing... Uh, boy. There's really not one listed, but I'm seeing a couple of peaks nearby that are close to 6,000. So I I don't know. I guess it's somewhere between three and four. How's that? Okay. Yeah, I think they all kind of are in that range. Okay. Who's next? Who goes? Uh, so we'll we'll cruise at 5,000. When you guys go, I'm kind of stuck over here. I'm going to have to switch planes. Just following this river. And uh, we'll, no, see a, we'll see I a mean, second body of water off to the left-hand side. Yeah, I'll go. That is Lake Eagle, I think they called it. Eagle Lake. There we go. 
I know my place. <clears throat> so we're coming down. Tatla Lake, oh, I guess it's called. Yep. And uh, when we see Eagle Lake paralleling oh, it off guys, to the I'm left, to try to the south end of Eagle at, Lake is where we're going to make that left hand turn southbound. Power at, uh, 107. Traffic 286 out for Charlie, departing 23. Out I, don't, I don't know if I'd worry too much about that, Diane. I just think fly your fly your plane, and when we get close to the to the airfield, we'll just we'll just dock it out, sort it oh, out. That's oops. kind of the beauty of our voice Unicom. Yeah. Sorry, I'm on the runway. Hold you guys up. Right, I'm gonna get so off. I'm, I'm just uh, winging it. Take out gas. I think I've got the balance more or less figured out. X-Pilot might uh, still be a little bit too high. by uh, uh, Amer uh, Budweiser American Brewery. <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> really? I'm gonna, I, I should be over there. <laughs> All right. Uh, let, me get, let me know about the mix, guys. I mean, it's a um, uh, the uh, chat bush as well as the... Uh, <laughs> we technically are <laughs> in the, the stuff Rockies, over there, aren't right? we? Well, yeah. maybe. The, so shouldn't we be drinking Coors? Uh, and actually, well, up here, you guys should be drinking coconut. Well, we're going to have some good five salt. Traffic number 170 taking off midfield. Okay, that was about to be fun. You can still do it, it's a really wide runway. <laughs> sure. Alright. Puffy I traffic, Cessna 2462 Tango, taking off on the right side of runway 23. Nice. Departure straight out. Oh, Somebody's wow, got to get this. One way from this side. Oh yeah. That's Grab it. All the sir. <laughs> Eagle Lake there. Grab the departure. Okay. Nice. This this seems like just excessive turbulence. <laughs> you should have picked a different day. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's probably from when I took off twenty minutes ago. Wow. My one seventy. Wow, that is a long runway. Wait, guys, you are turning uh, to hold short uh, right uh, before me. Uh, well, I mean, uh, right next to me. I'm uh, uh, three. Uh... Okay, two flaps. This is serious excessive turbulence. Yeah, I'd, I'd, if you're flying a tail dragger, back the wind way down. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Farm Beach Traffic, uh, Kodiak, November 8th, Valley Mouth, taking the runway 23, departing to the southwest. Uh, wow, this is an error. Okay, so that's that's going to be Eagle Lake there to our left. And when we get to the south end of that is when we're going to make our turn southbound. I'm going to go ahead and flip the heading bug over to that southbound heading. So we'll... We'll kind of have that in our pockets ready to go. <laughs> I like you're going all the way left and right on my screen and up and down just because the amount of turbulence that I'm going through. <laughs> just up a thousand, down a thousand. It's ridiculous. Wow, we we actually look beautiful on uh, that. <laughs> so where's our rallying point? Well, I. I honestly think we probably oh, just, yeah, we just need to kind of all come in and, and land uh, runway 33. The winds around here are generally northwest, so that's, we tried to do our approaches that way whenever possible. There is, I think, one lake where we have to land kind of one way and depart one way. This particular airstrip is, it's an uphill landing airstrip, so uh, that's kind of what we're doing there, and then we can, we can, uh, Depart back down the hill, essentially. Okay, I think that's the, the end of so, does Eagle have an Lake. Altitude number here. Altitude nine nine two. Yeah, an altimeter setting. Visual. 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 <laughs> Visual. <laughs> Actually, just, uh, off of uh, Ponce. So Ponce Mountain is uh, twenty nine eighty five. Okay. If anything beside or above you is green, you're too low. <laughs> well, I was... So there's our, our southbound turn, <laughs> oh, looking oh, at the 
southwest edge of Eagle Lake. So we should be Getting over this little lake to the left here. Is it kind of next to that little ridge on the other side of the lake? Let's see if we can look on the section right here. Kind of go around that. Yeah, there's a, a ridge to the in front of us that we go around. Oh, you straight. Coffee, you keep disappearing. So we still yeah, have so uh, four planes on the ground at Punzi Mountain. Probably that there. And then, yeah, I would say it's in this little nook that we're headed toward. Right, we're good. We're good. There's a, I know there's a specific valley you've got to go down to get to this airport. So what I'll do is at the entrance of that valley, I'm just going to kind of circle around it for, for the people in behind. We're looking for some direction. Yeah, and everybody, uh, if you don't have the sectional chart up in front of you, um, grab that because you, you sort of need to follow the river. You take off from the airport and um, make a left and follow the river that hun heads to the southwest. Okay. Just follow the river and we'll be fine. Well, kind of, yeah. You need kinda. to turn. You need to turn though at Eagle Lake and head south. So if you just stay on the river, you're gonna you're gonna end up well west of where we need to be. So you go down to the you go down to the end of the picket fence by the big pine tree. And <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly yes. right, Slant Alpha. That's this and there's is a rusted old mailbox about. and a yeah. You guys could uh, could one of you guys actually pin that PDF? in the Discord, instead of having to scroll back through and remember where Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll throw it up right now. I actually just happen to have it in my clipboard. Good call. I guess the turbulence is that bad, he's going to throw it up right now. <laughs> well, I'm I'm already one frame in, one airframe into this flight, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is an expensive flight. And I haven't That's even done a landing yet. That's so we're gonna we staff some spare parts at every airfield. Thanks. Gonna Mom. redo your uh, That's redo your livery and paint a little uh, paint a little skull <laughs> and crossbones on it for each one. <laughs> normally those um, normally those indicate kills, not suicides. Huh. Oh, so again, God. guys, as you as you approach this airstrip, it you're following a dirt road basically kind of south southeast and that dirt road runs right by the airstrip the airstrip will be on the west side of the dirt road and uh, all right if you I guess if you don't see the airstrip you might as you could fly directly over and maybe do right traffic instead of left traffic but uh, it doesn't really I don't I don't know that it matters other than I think it's probably wise for us all to try to land to the north and then just park up on the I north th end. I of think the I'm coming around. This this ridge right here is what I think so I'm coming around. There's a the ridge the, straight ahead of me, I um, believe, chat, right? is this here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm kind of zigzagging east of that one, or yeah, west of that one, east of that one, and then we should be kind of right here. And how are you guys doing on the ground down there at Punty Mountain? And you're, you and then you're saying to left go? traffic to th that'd be left, and then that'd be right. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's left. Traffic, left traffic to, uh, uh, to the northbound uh, runway. Yankee, uh, taking off runway 23, uh, south I got drawing these things upside down. I can't remember my left from my right. That might be the vodka speaking yeah, to. Yeah, the Kodiak thing. Kaleo going traffic, Skyline 816, we're on left downwind for runway 33, Kaleo. That's a mouthful. That. Easy for you to say. Oh, I see sign out. Melvin, do you have your uh, Discord on push to talk? No. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm going to set the <laughs> heading bug to 3-3. Three, three. I've been muting, trying to mute, but I forgot to mute. I'm going to mute. Somebody said they saw me. I don't think I'm quite on top of this thing yet. I think I got a ways to go. Oh, Slant Alpha, I'm back on your five. Okay. Yes, unbelievable. I took off. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing about a hundred knots. Yeah, so I think I'm coming over one of these a couple of these uh, little smaller in, lakes uh, here. Kodiak, uh, 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 southwest departure, last call. Uh, smaller lake one, smaller lake two, and then they got this. Uh, 
Uh, wait, did uh, you guys are getting really static from the, me. The, uh, on the Discord, on it was beautiful. Yes. Yeah, it was oh, awesome. Boy. I apologize. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Keep going. We got you. You're hanging with the right crowd. Yeah, oh, we're that all locked up there? here. Uh, wait, what's the altimeter settings? Three's below you. Two nine nine or nine or eight. Uh, who cares after all? 2998 is what somebody oh, said. Since I don't know the field elevation at my destination, I guess the altimeter setting doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> this is bush flying, boys. This is all visual. Yeah. Welcome to bush flying. This is, this is gorgeous. Yeah. I'm just coming up on the lake now. Uh, Nemo Whiskey X ray is taken off from Punty Mountain. Something, something airport. Uh, Tatlayoko. Uh, one, five two one X-ray off with the crossing <laughs> over the field. <laughs> Just the best. Oh boy. I guess I do need to figure out how to pronounce this thing. I'm about to make a call. Tatlayoko. Tatlayoko. Tapioca. 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 <laughs> Wait, and the other, and the one later became kumquat. So I guess it's all Cat food references tonight. Yoko. Yoko. Okay, I see where we are now. Oh, oh, it's, oh it's complicated. Oh, I guess uh, you know, guys, actually, G1000 yeah. is absolutely amazing for <laughs> pilot aid. Yeah, no, the, the G1000 <laughs> is useless. Right. This place. The window to the world. <laughs> Should I put on uh, the uh, synthetic vision also? Uh, here Douglas. Tatlyoko traffic, Skyline 816, on the left base, runway 33, Tatlyoko. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have to keep a tighter formation with you guys next time. Go, Tatlyoko. Go. It, it is very tight. Yeah, this 170 is tough to keep up with, man, I'm telling you. We're sneaky fast. Got this new paint job. It's a very aerodynamic paint job, apparently. Uh, the monster, exactly. Tatlyoko Organized Tatlyoko chaos. Traffic, Skyline 816. Turning final runway 33, Tatlyoko. So after Eagle, Eagle Lake is south. Mayfair. Uh, I think this might be the second kind of oval-shaped lake. I, think I, that, I, I thought maybe this was the... Oh. I've I thought maybe this was the corner of our of the destination lake, but I don't think quite maybe yet. I think this might still be that second oval shaped lake that I'm coming up on. I think I would have if this were Unless Melvin Leroy is right there below me. <laughs> I'm either flying through someone's wake or it just happens to be really terrible. Okay, it's uh Julie Juliet who's that? Romeo Bravo's taken off now from Punzi Mountain? I mean, you still got one guy on the ground um, at Buncey Mountain after that, and then I think you're the last one. Who is that? Uh, uh, guys, I apologize. Who is November 170? I have you uh, inside. You just crossed me. Uh, oh, that would be right me. To left. I'm still lost, uh, so I'm trying to find these guys. What What was your speed, man? Because I passed you too. Were you at like 50 me? knots? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm doing about 130 now. Oh, 130 now. So I've got this strip at the north end of the lake, is that right? Hey, firm. No, this might be it. Hold on. Alright, so what's a good course between Ponzi Mountain and where you guys are? Like a Southwest. Yeah, Southwest. like a 150. Well, that's not good. Well, that's it. I'm I, I just down. realized that I never even checked the, my, uh, uh, t uh, how my trips were set up. True bush. So yeah, it's like Eagle Lake, and then you turn south. You should see Eagle Lake even if, if you have, if you choose where you can. Yeah, this has got to be that. Uh, south of the, well, southern end of the Eagle Lake, there are two mountains. There are two mountains. You yeah. turn right. It's in between. Yep. Yep. And that, that dirt road All will right, take yeah, you right I think there, I'm, by the way. I think I'm looking at it here. Oh, awesome. I'm going to go lower. So I have a field elevation of about 2,600. 
So the last aircraft, um, I think it's Field probably elevation the over Bingo Fox Trot just took scary. off from Lindsay Mountain, Super so cop. we're heading that way. Um, Alpha Yoko, crossing Super Cup, uh, NC. Oh, absolutely, Kini Monster. Compass, uh, the uh, drawing compass and uh, a, a ruler. That, that's all you need. That's all you need. Tatla Yoko traffic. Skyline 816 is clear of the active Tatla Yoko. Tatla Yoko traffic. Baron 514 Delta Victor is overflying the field. And we're searching for our orientation for the uh, runway at Tatla Yoko. That's helpful. So the dam face is roughly and, uh, your base Sabiogo heading. Traffic, November 21X Alpha, Cessna on uh, right downwind for uh, Cessna 1111. I see you. We're trying to enter a land for right downwind, Tatla Yoko. I'm on the right downwind. Uh, anyone ever looked up uh, the uh, supplements? Uh, what What is the correct downwind for that? Uh, I never was able to find one. Cop, two, seven, one. You're at uh, oh yeah, it's Canadian charts. Or, um, it's special. I mean, in, in a lot of traffic. regards, right traffic for 3-3 three, three makes more sense. Just had to have been back there. Big mountain on the, on the left-hand side, but or on the other side, I should say. But oh, wait. Uh, so had to have been back there. Turning base, because I was just about to turn base. Shit. Hey, turning base. Traffic. The dirt right road is super easy to see, guys. Don't worry about it. There's a dirt road. It's super easy. I saw the dirt road, but I didn't see a field. Sending our downwind. Uh, Let's follow the dirt road. Traffic, super cup, home final. So, Rob, if you follow the dirt road all the way to the dam face, I mean, you'll, you're going to essentially fly right by. You, you should see my plane down. I'm on the north end of the uh, runway. I'm looking, I'm circling, I've, I flew past it, I'm pretty sure, I'm circling back to the north now to look again. It looks, in the ortho, it looks almost like a two-track is all. The, the dirt road is very easy to see, and there's a two-track that's the actual landing strip. Yeah, it's, so, uh, when, you, when you get back, I, uh, I see, I someone see below me. Right. when you get back, uh, when you get back to the edge of the lake, it's just at the edge of the lake in front of you. See the helicopter. Awesome. Oh. Hey, nice I, landing. I can't. I can't uh, find the field. All right. Yeah, the I have it. Yeah. We're about we're to, to right trade paint there, buddy. Tatla Yoko traffic. Skyhawk. 286 Alpha Charlie. Right down. <laughs> I feel like I might be lined up for it, but I hear a couple other people in the path, and I don't want to cut them off. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another pass here, guys. I would call this a VFR pocket tonight. Rob, on your stream, you're right on runway heading where you're at right now. Yeah, is it that to, to kind of to, to right off my? Left side of my propeller, is that what I'm looking at? It's it's just yeah, it's and it's just to the left of that dirt road. It's right on the other side of the fence of the dirt road. <laughs> it's a yeah, it's just a little narrow strip between the, oh, okay. between the right. trees and the road. Alright, I believe is it I right see by it. the yeah. lake or is, or is yeah. it sure? it's right by the lake, right? Yeah, yeah pretty darn close, yep. There's like right, a little uh, parking area or something. Uh, or cool you, event first, me or Yeah, it's north of the lake but walking distance. Right. So yeah, you just flew essentially right down the, the runway. Basically. Yeah, I'm on a basically uh, I'm, I'm on offset right uh, upwind here. A firm. Yeah, I'm I'm doing right patterns as well, like physically. No, over the lake, left, left. 
Tetley Echo traffic, 6 Alpha Charlie's turning right base, 3 3. Tetley on traffic, Victor Charlie Fox, Tetley on traffic, final four. Uh, Super Cup, uh, whatever, I'm waiting for you. Tetley on traffic, four final. Uh, wait, uh, are you guys doing left or right track? Left track. I don't actually have the airport. Me neither. Yeah. Like, do you see the lake? Yeah. It's no, the I right see. Lake. The one person who is landed is on the street. So my airport didn't load. Oh, darn it. Yeah. That's what I just landed on the street last time. It's... it's... Or whatever. Yeah, I, I see the, uh, see the patch of ground where they're sa talking about. Yeah, but it doesn't really look like much. Oh, okay. Was it that? Oh, I see. Oh, traffic. Oh, super cop. It's almost just like a white. Or yeah, and this one I promise you is the is the hardest one to to pick out because it just blends in so nicely. The other ones are much more they're just oh, they're just kind of there by themselves. But yeah, this is it's a good one to start with. Totally uh, okay, traffic. Uh, uh, Kodiak uh, about uh, seven miles uh, north, uh, inbound for full stop. Totally uh, okay. I'm still Make not some room quite. down there, guys. That's a big plane. <laughs> oh, wait, so don't we have a DC-3 tonight as well? I believe so. Well, DC-3... Well, DC-3 is way bigger. Okay, all right, I see it. I spent all so basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to land on that, that dirt guys, road, so I think, because it yeah. looks like the runway didn't really come in for me. <laughs> but I see the plane sit down there. You guys see it? I see him. See the plane? Okay, so, so I guess that's... Oh, okay, all right. So this is on the other side of the fence. Correct. All right, I see it. Oh, there's right. two of them. That looks good. Two of them there. Okay. So we'll just pre pretty much aim for the dirt road. Kodiak ready to extend downwind for anyone uh, who wants it. Uh, uh, not in a rush. Uh, totally okay. I'm just going to land on the road because I can't see anyone. <laughs> The scenery's not loaded, so I'm just going to land on the road. Am I the only one flying a helicopter? I think so. And by the way, that CSL looks awesome. I don't know what you're flying, but it kind of looks like a bell. Is that what you're... What are you flying? Um, I'm going to jump traffic to so wake up uh, 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 We are the runway. But uh, if you don't have the well, CSL, you'll look like a bell for us. Scout, 6 up and trouble. Of the it, runway. it looks nice because last time you looked like a CRJ. Right, tightly over traffic. Over. Sky out 514 Delta Victor turn left base for runway 33 Tightly Oka. So uh, I'm going to head out. Uh, that was a really fun flight. I'm going to have to do it next month. Uh, but uh, a good flight, everybody. Yeah, who's that, who's that leaving us? Yeah. Oh, it's Spartan. All right, very good, man. Yeah, first Monday of each month we're going to be doing this thing. So uh, we'll oh, see you yeah. at the next one, hopefully. Oh, yeah, I sure. see. That's can, can you guys that's the one. Correct. I'm parking somewhere. I can't see anything. All right. So I get to a uh, three three, and we'll so look for the road. So basically, the runway and the dirt road are. It's basically almost the same thing. Yes. Yep. Just don't hit that fence that I put up. They run parallel. Ah, uh, good point. Tatlock traffic, uh, uh, Kodiak on uh, left downwind for runway 33, uh, full stop, uh, Yeah, traffic, Baron, uh, Sky 5 and 4 Delta Victor's on uh, final for 33, three, Tatlock. Uh, heavy inside, Skyhawk. Uh, correction, I don't have you inside, Skyhawk. Uh, correction, I do have you inside, Skyhawk. Well done. Make up your mind. <laughs> Do a barrel roll. Uh, hey. Guys, I already had uh, flaps over speed and. Uh, let's not, just not think about That's it. all right. Melbourne has distributed uh, lots of spare parts throughout this region, so don't oh, worry. Oh, good. 
Hey, the landing was acceptable, coffee. It was yeah. acceptable. <laughs> Perfect. So wow. That was that was interesting. Uh Can someone send me the scenery so I can see if I can? Uh, Tatayaki it. traffic, uh, Kodiak turning uh, left, uh, turning left base, uh, following the uh, Skyhawk uh, one final uh, uh, to land. Uh, uh, Tatayaki. What's going on? It's kind of a couple of trees here. You can split the uprights like a goalpost. Canning in the Spartan Mine's general. Copy. Right Copy. All right, so uh, Lima Whiskey X-Ray and Juliet Romeo Bravo, uh, you guys need to be starting to turn southbound. And this is uh, this is seven four eight Hotel Sierra. I'm I'm to your east. Oop, that was really really firm. If you have the sectional chart. Uh, you guys are a little bit to the, to the traffic, uh, west Kodiak of Eagle final Lake. On way 33, uh, full stop, uh, That was rough, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt a little bit. Oh, no, because I'm in trees right now, because I don't have the, the scenery, apparently. Oh, I see your point. Tyler, the traffic is kind of 514, Dr. Victor's clear, it's kind of 33, Tyler. So I think I'm coming up upon you guys. There's a lake to the, what would it be, the north? Yeah. And then there's a big valley, and you guys are down the valley a little bit on the left. Oh, you know what? I think I see it. Never got uh, like landing lights, south of the lake on the taxi valley. light, all that stuff on. Oh, well. Hey, all right, let's do a quick fuel check. Ooh, I survived. Yeah, it, this was great. I will have to be right back as I yes, she is. start my sim for some issues. I mean, uh, yeah. keep in mind that I'm uh, overweight, like uh, at least 200. <laughs> who is who is Lima Whiskey X-Ray? Do you have anybody else on final? No, oh, that was a dis. Somebody just disconnected. Okay, maybe that was him. Hmm. No, I was too. Uh, sick dude, thank God. We I need to to do top cover. Well, this is uh, this is downwind sim 740 yeah. hotel Sierra. So I kind of picked up the. I kind of circled the field till the last guys get off get off the field at Punsy Mountain, and uh, just making sure we didn't okay. have any stragglers. So I'm just. Just uh, <laughs> just south I'm stuck of here, guys. Lake at this point, and heading down toward you guys. Roger. I'm gonna park behind B7, so we have. I might need somebody to come push my plane out of the mud here. Oh, I see you guys. <laughs> okay, I have a visual. Just floor it. <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah. So basically, the. Uh, right next to the dirt road is uh, uh, the same way curved dirt road. This is the run. So, uh, Jack, this is um, the, uh, exactly what what's become the monthly Tatley Bush League Bush Monday League. flying uh, event. So we're basically going to be doing this on the, the first line. Monday of every night, three, every three, month rather, three, the first three. Monday of every month. Bunch of us in a big group flight three, in uh, British three, Columbia, three, Canada three, this time. Three. Oh, there we're moving. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, British Columbia, Canada this time. But each <laughs> month that we do it, we're going to be in a different and region. A whole new meaning the one we did flying. two weeks ago, yes, three, three. Oh. Yes, we yes. did in uh, in Idaho. Crossing midfield. Did I blow a tire? Maybe. That's uh, weird that it's pivoting like that. I'm not doing that. Wow, going actually the opposite way. <laughs> I see somebody right okay, over there. I kind of feel a little me. embarrassed. Yep. I'm only oh. 250 pounds over. Oh, it's not there enough. We go. Now it's moving. Well, did somebody do a, I'm sorry, did somebody do a uh, count on Batsim? How many people do we have on this one? I did a screenshot earlier, but it didn't count. Yeah. I, 
I think I had the. Copy of the traffic, November 170, downwind, turning on base or runway. Copy of the traffic. Can't even pronounce this place. Yoko. 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 That's it. That's that's fine. That's all I need. That's people. easier because we're shortening it. So Bravo Seven, you'll be significantly lighter when you unload downwind Sims' new engine that he needs. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Ah, uh, you want me? To, you want me to make a run uh, back to the? Uh, well, the tires don't look flat, but that doesn't mean that they are. And uh, return with a new engine. I mean, I think I can do that in the, the time until you reach the next destination. Uh, all right, give me a little bit of slack here, you guys. You saw me fly in that icing situation up in New England last night. Right? <laughs> I did actually. He he, I'll give him credit. He kind of put on a a show. He did a good job. Oh, that was amazing, honestly. We that were flying that amazing. as well. So yeah, Jack, I apologize. I'm kind of distracted. I'm trying to get my plane out of the mud here. Um, but yeah, Bush. Uh, it looks pretty. Bush bad. League Mondays. So we, we did it in Idaho two weeks ago. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of participation, so we decided to make it a monthly thing. Um, so we're going to take turns putting together an itinerary. This one's in British Columbia, Canada. We started at Punsi Mountain, and now we're at uh, Lake Tatlioko or Tatlioko Lake. Uh, it's, it's DG PCOU, and I dropped it into uh, the chat, I think. All right, I think I'm actually done because I can't. Yeah, unless I'm willing, unless you guys are willing to wait for me to fly back from Punsey Mountain. No, just uh, if you get the scenery yeah. loaded in, just uh, every oh, every airfield has a call sign, so you can just spawn in at wherever we're at. So go ahead and uh, work work it out, and we'll be we'll be here for a little while. So if you want to stick with it, you can catch up with. Me. All right. What's uh? Does this that? Eh. Does that airfield have a call sign or no? Do yeah, all of them. All of them do. Bravo, Yeah, and some of them are fictitious, but um, all of them do have something accessible in X in X plane. Well, I'm here. Uh, wait, uh, this particular field. Uh, okay, actually, one, I'm actually one. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Bravo Charlie for Yankee. Bravo Charlie for Yankee. The quality of the Kodiak CSL is astounding. I'm on a fence. Hey, 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 what did I say about the fence? I spawned on the fence, okay? Give me a That's break. Cool. Okay, all right. <laughs> Spawned me on the runway. It's like, yeah, no, you're gonna go. But anyway, yeah, so, so first Monday of each month, Jack, and um, so next month we've got a big oh, tour no, up in this time. Mount Baker, no, Washington, right. that Coffee Bassie's put together for oh, us, and then February we're getting uh, treated to an itinerary by our friend Trax, who hasn't yeah, then, told us anything about what's going on with it specifically. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I first Monday of each month we'll be doing this big uh, Bush group flight, so. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to jump in and why. join us, or at least uh, be able do to it. pop in and, and spectate and, and hang out with us. Hey, hey Coffee, did you just uh, spot on? Uh, Jack, yeah. if you want to look at the PC yeah. settings, uh, uh, you can yeah, go, yeah. Um, Put it into I think you can go uh, exclamation steel. point specs, or you can look in the Twitch channel information. So they're, they're already there in the Twitch channel information. They're also in the Discord. Uh, but I think if you go uh, exclamation point specs, uh, wait, it should show you as well. Which team and what do you mean by update? Uh, so I have X-Plane, and how do I update the scenery? I think the Boston scenery? Friday Night Ops, Jack, is oh, on a day that I'm not able to stream. What is that? Is that this Friday? Is that this, this Friday the 6th? Okay. Uh, yeah, Dan, 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 yeah, no Dan, problem, Jack. If, this, if the if the, if the yeah, Boston one is this Friday, I'm not able to stream for that. It's my wedding anniversary. There's no way I was getting into that one. Uh, how to do it so gracefully so thing. if you haven't done the ortho for this area you can probably <laughs> skip that because it'll probably take a little while to make all of that tonight but you can down certainly download the nehemiah valley and oh okay uh, yeah so jack i won't be able to join in on that one as well so be out to dinner with the wifey on, on all okay. of that stuff i'm mm -hmm. not gonna worry about it tonight i'll get it next time watch with it on twitch <laughs> <laughs> i'll just fly tonight all right see your tatley lake 
Skyhawk 748 Hotel Sierra is on a left downwind for runway 33. Uh, we got Downwinson making his approach. See if we can see that. Did you guys pay the landing fees? Oh, I'm gonna fence repair. I'm gonna skip out before that happens. We'll pass the hat, brother. It's all good. Sure. I'll get you guys at the end. My plane will pay for it. So, Captain, what's next? Well, let's, uh, Downwind Sims on on uh, base to final now, and then we'll figure out what's going on after this. So I can give you a little bit of a preview here. Yeah, good traffic. Skyhawk 748. Hotel Sierra on uh, base. And again, I'm posting uh, this. Jax is trying to figure out something to do for that Boston FNO. Well, uh, you always come up with something creative. Do you have, do you have any suggestions? It, uh, what type of plane you want to fly in, Jack? Lake. We'll start with that, and then so we'll see if we can clear, figure out something for park you. Park up here at the north. We'll turn around. We'll head back out the same way we came in, kind of a downhill departure. You're going to be – there's going to be a, a fairly good-sized draw that's uh, going to lead to an east turn, a left-hand turn to the east. Probably Cessna, Lima, Wiscax, is there any chance somebody could help me? Sure, I can go up. Uh, whoever 170 is, I suggest you clear the runway. Oh, sorry. I see nothing but forest here, but I'll oh, <laughs> hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah, because it Well, clear the forest. Final. Clear, clear the forest, the... clear the forest. Left or right, please. Go, go, so go. It's... I'm going to go so ahead and route. take off to this clearing. Yeah, sounds good. So the route will take you down Tatlioko Lake near the near the south end of the lake. Not all the way to the south end, but you're going to see a large, large opening. It's, it's, it's then it's a hard climbing left hand turn to uh, it's the Bracewell Lodge airstrip. And uh, Bracewell Lodge kind of runs uh, zero 05 and 25. So mm. I think we just we just landed straight in on runway, I believe we just went runway five, didn't we downwind just straight in? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's correct. And if anybody, uh, I would say that if anybody is, would like to give it a go to try to navigate to it, I mean, Melvin and I have been here before, so we kind of know what we're looking for, but if anyone okay. would like to try their, try their shot at uh, doing some pilotage and looking sure. at the chart and trying to find it, um, I'd be open to letting somebody else go first. I think I've got it. I'll give it a shot. And I'll, I'll hang back at the end and, and pick up anybody that, again, gets a little turned around um, to help out on the, on the tail end. So is there someone in the air that needed help? I believe so. I believe there was somebody. It was uh, Gulf Lima Whiskey X-Ray. Okay. I'm going to go back up the valley and try to find him then. Dan Simair was able to drop in for a little bit. Dan Simair, good to see you, man. All right, all right. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy, give this a shot, guys. All right. Close behind. All Take right. a big drink of Red Bull and then. Uh, oh yeah. Yourself out. What is right. the next stop? Well, there's Race the Red Bull right there. Wilderness Lodge, Bravo <laughs> Charlie Three Yankee. All right, so let's see if we can get this going, guys. Laps. Okay, I see. Tatlioko traffic. Skyhawk 514 Delta Victor's back taxi into the northbound runway at Tatlioko Lake. Uh, Kino Monster says, uh, Red Bull, it, uh, liquid ice is way better. Yeah, Jack, give me a moment, man. I'll come up with something so cool WX, for you. So, WX, how do you say that in aircraft terms? Whiskey X-ray? Uh, whiskey X-ray. Whiskey X-ray? Whiskey, whiskey X-ray? Yes, whiskey. Like, Roco uh, 45 the, has joined the, us. Uh, the gas the all Looks right. like yes. he's heading the correct way now. Okay. So hey, he whiskey, X-ray, I'm coming your way. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing, guys. Is he on the chat? 
I don't think he is. Uh, he, I don't think he is either. I think he made that call on CTAF. Okay. Whiskey X ray number 170. Definitely Whiskey X ray. Uh, Whiskey X ray, I'm headed your way from the group, and so you can follow me. Watch out, I'm just going to be checking in between you just to be able to the back of the Thank line. you, if I can see you. Uh, Whiskey X ray, do you have a visual? That was a magnificent departure of the EFR right now. Everyone Alpha is ta back taxiing for the northbound runway, Tatley Oka Lake. Why is it taking me full power? Uh, Tatley Oka Lake traffic, right Scott 514 Delta Vic is turning left downwind off of runway 33. Uh, VFR departure southbound, Tatley Oka Lake. Uh, with the x ray, it seems to be you are on the opposite side of the mountain that I am. So there we are. Enough speed going. We'll get our flaps up. Dan, if you can, I think that's Dan. If you can yeah. put your uh, push the talk, switch your Discord uh, audio to push the talk instead push of voice talk. actuate. I don't see anybody anywhere. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm just going to make one final <coughs> call to him. Uh, and then I'll go push the talk. And whoever that is, if you want to, uh, you know, to go to 122.85 or something like that, you can uh, probably yeah, talk yeah. to them offline. So I'd say we can we can be tight on the valley departure. So if somebody's ready to go, open. let's rock and roll. Roger. Uh, I'm gonna make one more call and then I go to push the talk on this. Uh, whiskey whiskey X-ray bearing to me 180. So we got uh, trying to get a, a count, but we're all kind of bundled in there. So. <laughs> yeah, not a problem, man. Not a problem. Yeah, well, we need to get the Red Bull off of the dash Anybody and back into the, the red trailer in the background. And I'm playing back into the glove box. Oh no. So that we can see our our stall yeah, indicator. He, just, he got on the wrong side of that mountain, didn't he? Whiskey X-ray. I see. Him. Why everyone's audio is so low? Uh, guys, uh, who is a total here? It looks okay to me, Dane. If if um, uh, uh, Whiskey X-ray, I'm in here five. Yeah, the radio is nice and loud. The Discord audio, I, I don't know if I can get any louder. Basically, now we're going to the south end of this lake. And then we're going to make a left, and the runway heading we said they said is a 050, so I'm going to set the heading bug. And just kind of make a straight I'll in. X-ray, I'm up your nose. Sound okay right now, sustain, okay, good. Yeah, Jack, um, let's see if I got a second. Oh, man, that's great. That's really great. That was pretty cool. Oh, bye bye. That is. One of the cool things I did, yeah, Jack. Um, uh, who's, who's going next? Uh, I think I will. Was, um. Uh, Tatayoko Lake, uh, Lake traffic, uh, blue Kodiak, uh, Lake Trucking Runway 334, uh, left down wind departure, Tatayoko. I actually got a little bit out of here, Jack. It depends on what you want to do, but, um. To the One of the cool flights I did. I think I would just go ahead and do that. Uh, let me draw this traffic off screen. Advisor, traffic inside 12 o'clock. Same level, range unknown. Oh, uh, whiskey X-ray, that would mean. <laughs> Bring yeah, Jack, One thing I did, I was actually just watching this stream back there. It is one of my earliest streams. I took off from Lawrence, uh, which is right up there, and I used I, uh, a DME arc uh, to stay outside the Bravo, get down to about this point, and then I went down to Hyannis. <laughs> <laughs> so that so might be a fun thing to do, just to kind of harass uh, the controllers <laughs> by staying just outside the Bravo. Uh, you want to make that, I believe this is a 20 mile I arc, so I, th I did, I think, a 22 mile arc. And then uh, down the Hyannis, or I might have broken off a little earlier and went down that check. way Sorry. to Hyannis there. Yeah, radio check, final display. Uh, um, it's off the screen, but I think it's down that way. 10 by 5. 
but yeah, you can kind of just stay outside of the Bravo, but be monitoring it, or you can get flight following, and uh, and head on down from uh, Lawrence to uh, Hyannis. So that was one that I did that you might enjoy if you, if you want to do that. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so near the bottom end of this lake, yeah, we're kind of making a dog leg so left here. And, oh, is that the, is that the runway kind of up on that precipice there? Uh, wait, you're going to depart before before me? Um, I'm kind of no, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, a, like a road. I'm a helicopter. I'm just oh, he's out. He's out already. You can go. Yeah, you can try that one, Jack. That was a lot of fun. Of one of my older streams, wasn't it was like a Sunday morning. I used to stream on Sunday morning, so there was nobody in attendance. I was just kind of narrating for my own benefit. Traffic, uh, but uh, you want to uh, look at that uh, LWM to departure. HYA, you might be able to find it, and I can at least you can use that as a, a means of talking through how I did the navigation for it. So, if you know DME arcs at all, you can kind of figure it out. It's just a, it, I, I believe that's a 20 mile ring. You can use Sky Vector to check and see where that outermost ring is. As soon as Diana gets. Uh, it's going and then you can uh, like the I'm sorry, is there an airport down there? Just add two yeah, to whatever it is. It's 20 or 30, but I didn't think it was 20. Uh, yeah. Just add two whatever and just do is. that. One five. One five, yeah. Uh, whiskey X-ray, one seven zero, yes there is. Uh, didn't pick off the... Okay, that was scary. That looked pretty cool on this channel. It looks amazing. Okay, so it's around that little corner there. We'll start dropping some altitude. Yeah, there's a whole scenery install to do for this flight. Tatlaika traffic, uh, Kodiak, uh, turning uh, left downwind uh, for departure. Tatlaika. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I hear it constantly. Ah, uh, we, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Just skip that. Who's the uh, uh, first one in line for the Cessna taking off here? Yeah, uh, like the Cub. You wanna go? Go ahead, Alan. So it's well, kind of around this corner friend, somewhere. Uh, Stolkorn is traffic, actually your uh, best friend. Super Cup departing on the active uh, heading south. That's what you Kind of on. If they said now it was a 050. Can you zero. Tail end at this, at this location then? A, a firm. I will be the All last right. guy out. So seven, uh, eight Hotel Sierra will be next. Okay, it looks like my. Directional driver is off sync by about 30 degrees as well. So. Uh, I might want to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, good for me. Because you're on slower than you are. Helio yeah, yeah, yeah. traffic. Skyhawk 8 Hotel Sierra taking off from 15 southbound departure, Catalio. Ooh, that kind of looks like a runway. Didn't we hyphenate the uh, airport again? I also just realized that I can, uh, for no reason whatsoever, uh, reduce my RPMs. I don't know why I did this, but I... I... So, uh, Agent B7, so that that stall horn is sort of music to our ears. We generally try to play a tune as we're coming in on approach back here in the backcountry. I'm... I mean, exactly, Rob, exactly. This is the correct uh, short field landing. This is a yeah. exactly a short field landing. When you, when you okay. hear this tow horn and then you are Who's basically a drop uh, on uh, your mats. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so I, I still miss uh, pushing the wrong push to talk uh, from time to time. Tavioka traffic, Cessna 2460 tank is taking off on my 15, departure southbound. So if you guys have uh, have the scenery installed and you're enjoying the sights and sounds there's a bunch of uh, cabins and okay, stuff so this on is, the, this is the east way, side of the lake Raysville traffic Douglas 341 Alpha base to final runway 7 I believe it is Raysville 5, 7 it's all the same oh yeah. okay, that was that was cool so, maximum performance takeoff return Alright, yeah, we're gonna go around. 
Uh, maximum performance takeoff. What does it mean, maximum uh, performance takeoff? I'm taking off uh, at uh, 1,700 uh, feet, uh, pounds. Uh, so, tell me about maximum performance takeoff. Yeah, you win. Alright, Bracewell traffic, Skyhawk 514 Delta Victor going around for the northeastern runway. Bracewell. Bracewell, pay for one office short final for runway 7. Bracewell. Alright, well, so it sounds I, like Slan Alpha found it. Four other making left traffic off the northeastern runway. All this power can uh, actually uh, play a bad, uh, uh, like uh, play out really bad uh, to you because uh, you can really end up with uh, too much energy. Uh, basically, Dane, we're at Bracewell Wilderness uh, Lodge in British Columbia, Canada, and that's the extent that I know. We've got the sectional. It's the Nehemiah Valley sectional. It's posted on downwindsim.com if you want to kind of follow along. But that's where we are. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. You should have seen that uh, one of my TVM landing. <laughs> okay, so that, that was indeed it, but I gotta, gotta get the, the altitude a little bit better managed this time. Looks like I will be after you, my good man. Any traffic in the area, advise. Bracewell, Douglas, 3 4 one is clear, runway 7. Bracewell traffic, Skyhawk 514 Delta Victor's uh, left downwind, turning base to uh, the northeastern runway at Bracewell. Runway 5. Tell you good traffic, Skyhawk 6 7 Charlie's departing, runway 1 5. Uh, yeah, we gotta get some altitude off, we gotta get some airspeed off. Can local go traffic, traffic Skyhawk 816, 816 departing, departing runway, runway 15, Cali Mute is your friend. You don't want to hear me double time? Well, what is it? Those, those uh, dulcet baritone? Yeah, uh, or slightly the... less than dulcet baritones. Okay. Hey, I'll have you know I did a voiceover last month for something, so there. Well, well, <laughs> duly noted. This is the one that is just turned left towards the mountain and did it basically a dive down. That would be me. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> that was very close. Oh, where are you now? Uh, you're... Alright, so I'm pretty much on left base. 8.30ish. Hi. Daniel, yeah, I know I'm over your way. That's awesome, man. I don't know how close we are I to basically you. basically just high-fived your tail. <laughs> well, very good. How are you? Welcome to Canada. <laughs> I see you all the way up there. Yeah, I'm right on your tail, Slant Alpha. People something to aim at. That brace well traffic. Sky on 514 the Victor turn at final for runway 5 and brace well. Uh, graceful traffic, uh, caught the Somehow uh, went high again. Following the sky on final, uh, uh, graceful. And again, guys, I think you just, uh, pull up to the, uh, top end of the airport and we'll just turn around and depart. Basically, uh, the opposite of the way we came in. It in. It's actually not looking too bad. Uh, graceful traffic. Uh, Kodiak uh, going to actually do the full left uh, traffic uh, for runway 5, uh, uh, turning uh, left uh, upwind, uh, graceful. I'm so used to flying the big planes, I'm going to have to look up for a, look up a star <laughs> for this place. <laughs> Just punch it into your FMC. That's right. Yeah. Make sure you second, get your I'm minimums gonna to, right. I'm going to have to uh, do a hold pattern while I look up the chart. <laughs> Another firm one. So much downdraft here. Uh, just be advised, Graceful is uh, way higher, so you would need to actually climb. To climb? Climbing the, left hand turn. What's the altitude of this next place? Uh, around 4,000 uh, EGL, maybe 4,000. Uh, 
Vesel traffic, Kodiak, turning a left crosswind and immediately downwind for a full stop at 5 Graceful. Runway 5 if it is? Affirm, runway 5. Yeah, you can make it straight in, can't you? Hey, firm. Alright, let me get the parking brake set. Yeah, okay. Taxi light right, come off. Oh, let's see. oh, we got some traffic yeah, above us. Yeah, Bristol you will, uh, pull off. Bristol traffic, 460 Tango, about two knock a miles away from Bristol, uh, straight in runway 05. We had that helicopter bouncing around, where'd they go? Let's do just a uh. Graceful traffic behind to Tango. There we go. Graceful traffic. <laughs> Graceful traffic. It, it was uh, Whiskey X Ray. Uh, this is Kodiak. I'm going to be behind you, uh, number three. Uh, Graceful. So I got those two. Uh, Whiskey X Ray. I don't see an airport. I give up. Darn it. I do. Womp womp. Well, go take go take another look at your uh, install because we still have uh, f got plenty of time. We don't mind having you spawn up oh, at one of these one. Uh, ones down the road too. I'm not sure they're on. Are they on Discord? Discord? Uh, uh, for very dangerous final oh, okay. uh, runway uh, zero five uh, Kodiak uh, Braceville. Brace. Braceville traffic. About 500 feet over. And who who just called on the radio that says they didn't see the runway? That was whiskey. Uh, that was whiskey. Yeah. Looks like he just left. Oh, yeah. Usually it's nope, a priority. Still there. Lima whiskey X-ray. Yeah, he was right over the runway when he disconnected. Are, are, they, are they disconnected? Four hundred and sixty tangos upwind. Runway zero five will be turning. In a yeah, that's where one of the Skyhawks coming in now. Look pretty, oh, this look pretty firm, but look like mine, kind of. Yeah, so if you, I don't know, we, we should have, somebody, I think I tried to explain Bristol that traffic on the... Kodak, uh, uh, 05 vacated into the bushes, uh, Because if you don't know, you know, if you don't know what this Dane, um, event is... Dane, um, Bravo, yeah, Charlie, 3, uh, Yankee, runway, but I think that, that was part of the right. scenery package that Bristol Downwind Sim had us install. I don't think that's really so. If you install that that scenery package that Downwind Sim created, it's Bravo Charlie Three Yankee, Red Ferraris here. Yeah, we're doing a uh, doing a bush flying here in British Columbia, Canada. Got a group of us. Got about uh, 10, to 11 of us, maybe something like that. It's the Prop Strike 172 modification for X Plane 11. So it is a Cessna 172, but it's a tail dragger variant. So we've got oh, it logged yeah, on to the network as a Cessna 170, just yeah, so it looks right to other people. Either, so I'm just going to order it up here, but I'm good. But uh, yeah, definitely a bush plane. And like I say, you can hear in the Discord chatter, we got quite a few of us that are in on the in on the event with us. Traffic, November 8, 7, Lima, Alpha. Oh, we're going around. Ah, I messed up a bunch of that name. Okay. Uh, Traffic, Skyhawk, 816. We're on the uh, left base for runway 5. Bracewell. Those beautiful baritone sounds of Melvin <laughs> Leroy. I, got a, I forgot to mute again. Sorry, guys. It's okay, buddy. Right now. Uh, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. So I guess uh, I guess our good friend Slant Alpha, Alpha Adventures Alpha actually Alpha found Alpha the place. For, uh, yeah, it, his landing looked fantastic. I watched him on the stream. There's a road next to this place. Do you guys mind if I land on the road and set no. Is that okay? Just don't no, hit the fence. Yeah. Dude, you're missing out on some. Look, Brings you to the scout. Six up, Charlie Short Final. Got one over here. Kind of, kind Great of on a uh, uh, left downwind. Extending downwind to give you a little bit more space. We still got one flying over. 
And then we got the one on final right Grace now. Grace on traffic, over 170. We're going to take the alternate runway. Uh, yeah, down with like some no rock. trouble finding it. Uh, very easy to find this one. Uh, yeah, so pretty. Well done, young man, well done. And great finish off, November 8th, 7 Lima Alpha, turning base to final, spread. runway 05. For being a Bush Airport. There we go, not bad. It's hard to judge these landings. We get some scenery differences here, so it's hard to judge the landings. So we still got the one that looks like a jet that was over flying. I'm not sure what was actually flying. We got the helicopters right pops back in there. Here in inner final for runway five, race well. And then we got uh, Melvin Lee Rice. Give you guys a little time to sort things out down there. Not sure where he's gotten to. November eight seven Lima Alpha Kodiak is on final runway zero five. We got a Kodiak on final. I didn't see him. Graceful traffic number one seven zero. We're clear of the road. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm gonna do base here. I got somebody on a short left base here. Yeah. And uh, across uh, November 8th, Selling Miles, the base to final runway 05. I didn't see the Kodiak there that called on eight, final. 8 Hotel Sierra will be uh, number 2 behind 7 Lima Alpha. Well, hi there, Mike. The one turn in final, or left base to final, is way high. Slip it in. What else we got, anybody? Uh, Fox Trot, Whiskey Tango, Fox Trot. Contact sure. I had a historic weather enabled, so I definitely had different weather. Graceville traffic, Skyline 816, on the final runway 5, Graceville. Hey, Graceville traffic, traffic landing looked like it worked out okay. Clear of the runway. Thinking somebody was like, what are all those planes doing out there? I gotta go check it out. Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be people that'll pop in not knowing it's uh, part of a live stream. That's no, no problem. Alright, I'm actually gonna unload this, uh, well, metaphorical moose carcass. Uh, at this uh, Red Ferrari, yeah, that is a DC-3. I mean, uh, That's our friend Northwest it, it, it Orient was flying fun, that. But it was a little too much fun. Um, yeah. DC-3 really is a great though. short field performer, so. And he's, he's pretty good. He's a pretty good pilot, so. <laughs> he can get it out of a lot of these little uh, places. Seven, six, uh, we got somebody like, uh, kind of coming right over the trees. Kind of yeah, somebody coming over real really low. You can bring an A380 here. Now we got one on a real short final, and we got one right behind him. Got a nice little side slip that just happened there. Nice job. Yeah, that was really aggressive on that side slip I just did. I'm not. Just, maybe I should back the winds down a little bit more. Uh, helicopter, are you alright back there? Yeah, just casually. Casually with the size, one upside down. This I'm not going to be a plane anymore. Or a helicopter, I'm just going to be uh, a ball. Okay, so our next leg, I'm going to, I'm the runway, I, the CTAF call, but the next leg, we're going to be heading, um, so we'll depart the, the opposite way we landed, and we're going to be uh, heading east up that same draw that we came into this this airport out at and we're gonna hit it's called Chilco Lake and then you want to turn north um, on Chilco Lake and you kind of want to stay on the west side of it and we're going to Sanaya Lake Lodge it's it's it'll be fairly easy to find it's it's right in front of a mountain kind of on the eastern shoreline of Chilco Lake it's a runway alignment of seven and two five and uh, we Kind of feel like right traffic uh, for runway seven is probably going to be the way to go. And again, I'll post all that here. Um, Looks on like the it's Discord. just basically next door. Yep. 
real close. Yeah. Melvin, do I have it drawn correctly on the stream? It looks like it's pretty much straight out, straight in. It, uh, you're, I have a slight leg, so I'm waiting to see here. I think you theoretically can go straight out. If the valley yeah, is shallow just, enough. Yeah, you're just going to hang a left, essentially, as soon as you take off and make left traffic. Oh, so we're going, right we're going, we're lake. taking off back the way we came, you're saying? Correct. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, you can go, again. I think matter. you can go either way. You can go north or south. You can go through that little valley there, or you can go uh, south of the mountain. Mm -hmm. But just make, uh, just make for the lake, eastbound to the lake, and then you'll see, you can see on the sectional, it's just right down there on kind of that southeast, uh, that right in the corner of the Y there, Chilco Lake, and then I don't remember what the other lake is, but it's, it's like I say, very easy to find, very nice long runway. Um, and I would just, I would just, I would just basically come in uh, to the east on this one also. Uh, okay, if you go so up to the north look at the east, way I've drawn it now, yeah, Melvin, and let me tell me if I'm right. That, yeah, you're, you're, what you were doing was, was correct. I mean, um, I usually can't quite, yeah, there you go. That second one that you drew is more like what, what I can do. I okay. can't right, generally we'll make on that, that uh, other valley that you drew the first time, but I, I guess if you departed to the east, you would be able to. So if you want a little All shortcut, right. that's the way to go. So there we go. Here's plan A, and then uh, this one here is plan B. So whichever, guys. And we'll see you at slot C and tab D. <laughs> so I will say, if you go up through uh, Plan B, you've got a pretty good drop that because you've got to climb up a bit. You've got a pretty good drop to get back down to the level of the uh, airfield. It's down kind of low. Uh, so Plan just, Plan uh, D, plan you're going to end up upside down. Plan, uh, plan A is uh, which one? The northern one or the southern one? The southern one is probably the best option. They're saying so. Depart uh, Depart two three out of Bracewell and then make basically uh, a left to go eastbound, a left to go northbound. Um, and there's, ba there's bathrooms yeah, and like a, a Red Bull available here at the Bracewell lot. I'm not worried about that. I think I might need fuel, though. Melvin, you can speak to that. <laughs> might, just like, yeah. might just need to suck some uh, out of one of your all's planes. I have, like, uh, seven hours of fuel on board. Whoa. We yeah. just have Agent B7 yeah. all over yeah. top of yours. Oh my god, you well, you guys brought enough for all of us. Yeah, you guys take Jetty? Yeah, just siphon some of her 100 double L, you'll be good. Bracewell traffic, Skyline 816, we're departing. Uh, right, so let's do that real three, quick before we get five, too crazy. Let's, uh. Two, uh yeah, let's go ahead and add to the south somewhere. make left traffic on departure, Bracewell. Yeah, we'll just add a little bit there, not too much. Don't want to get it too heavy here. Two, three. Two, three. I was close. Yeah, it'll get right, us another we couple. Go, boys, we'll see you. I'm at the other see end. See you at Sanaya gonna... Valley. I'm going to take I'll do. All right, guys, I am going to take a bit of a real quick uh, we can run like to the little pilot's room. Saying, one take off one way on the right-hand side, and the other take off the other on the right-hand side. Sure. Right. So I'm, I'm going to ground gonna... affect Ooh. you here. All right. Three. We're gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave the camera here so you guys can watch a few of the departures go. Sanaya, Valley, Lodge. And uh, we'll be right back. Uh, Jack, uh, for X-Plane, you can look at downwindsim.com. All one word, downwindsim.com. And uh, he's got the scenery package posted up there. That's for X-Plane. For P3D, I don't know if there's any options. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's where all the, all the stuff was posted was on Downwind Sim's website. All right, guys, I'll be right back in just a few little little trip to the pilot's room, and we'll uh, we'll be back on for our departure, and we'll follow the crowd up to our next destination. You have to do a little climbing either way, so, I mean, you just... It's a little bit of an elevation gain to get over the top either way. Ooh, a lot of wind there. Braceville traffic, Douglas. 34 and Alpha's lining up from way 5, Braceville. Angle of attack indicator says I'm okay. You're supposed to play a song on that when you're departing. I've been playing a song on it. <laughs> Rachel, traffic, uh, super cop. Um, 
part There's part of nice. southwest for Shania Lake left traffic. Um racial traffic. You know it's good when you're going forty knots indicated. <laughs> Remember one yellow light on the angle of attack is plenty fine. No, maximum. All red. All red. <laughs> That's true pilotage right there. And that Kodiak CSL looks absolutely fantastic. Right? Yeah, it's amazing. Is it possible to load CSL so you're still in the game or no? Yeah. If you're using X Pilot, yes, yeah, you can reload it in, can, in, in game. Can someone share that with me? Because I did not get it and I'd, I'd like to see what it looks like. It's in general. It's in general. Oh, okay, thank you. I will, I will look at it. So, yeah, Agent, on my well. stream, I'm looking at your plane right now, the CSL. Oh, I... In Racewell traffic, I will take one off. Let's take it off from way five, Racewell. And we're departing in the southwest, correct? Uh, yeah. to the east. From Racewell? East. Yep. Yes. East to Sanayo. Or to, uh, uh, brace of traffic, uh, Kodiak 3, uh, Kuyanki, uh, after departing Douglas, uh, gonna backtrack runway uh, 234, uh, departure, brace of. Alright guys, I'm back with you. We're gonna watch. And then you're looking uh, forward yeah, Embry to Riddle, Lake Red Ferrari, I think you got it pretty much, except I think that A in Embry is right not, right doesn't belong there, so it's E-M-B-R-Y, I'm pretty sure. By the way, you probably Whoa, there goes the Douglas. Pull up no, terrain too, too low terrain to pull understand. up. Uh, you, you could go 500 feet. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Northwest Orient, that looked awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. it does. This thing is a yep. rocket. Brace for traffic, uh, Kodiak taxi in uh, it was car, right in my face. Too. Two, three, four, departure, brace for. Somebody's doing that, a little aer we can aerobatic all show jump for in us. There behind her if you guys want to. Yep. How do you guys get ground clamping? I, everyone's underground. Oh, uh, well, I, I don't have, know. Steve does that for me. Alright, eight, so eight Hotel Sierra is back taxiing behind right the there. three Echo Yankee. Just take a Six of Charlie is back taxiing as well. All right, there goes everybody else. I think I'm going to be last in line if I fall down when sim. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, there's a there's an offset file that you've got to sure, you've got to put into every directory. All right, so no, taxi so light. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Taxi light comes on, parking brake comes off. Wow. Yeah. Supposedly, if you download the the right one and and, and put it in and put it in properly all these in guys. all the directories. It works, but uh, I've got to go try that myself. Well, then there's an offset value in... Brace for traffic, Kodiak taking off uh, runway 23, uh, yeah. uh, left uh, crosswind departure, uh, brace for. There's an offset value for every CSL as well. So I have LA traffic, Skyline 816, from the right base for runway 7, Sniper Valley. Valley Cessna 2460 Tango is on a two nautical mile file for runway 06. There goes Agent B7. I will be right behind you, my friend. Come. I'll make best speed until. You know what? Perhaps one landing. It's pretty. Nice traffic, Skyhawk. Yeah, I think this is one of the longer Sky. airstrips. Taking off runway 2. ran over somebody there that I didn't realize was even there. I'll go behind the, all the Cessnas that are lining up. On the Kodiak, I'll go behind the, the last Cessna. Alright, uh, 8 Hotel Sierra is off, right behind 3 Echo Yankee. Sky Valley, Sky Valley. Brace traffic, Kodiak, uh, 3 Echo Yankee, uh, turning uh, left uh, crosswind for uh, departure, uh, eastbound, uh, last call, uh, brace for Terrain did not like this. Tonight traffic, Douglas 341 Alpha is on a no, final for runway. Tonight. Cody, you're going after me. 
Yeah, 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 sure. Go. I say, yeah, one more, yeah, one more off your, off your nine o'clock, which is me. Yeah, I see him going. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's why. Okay, I was like, oh, why are you looking at me? I have a feeling that uh, in uh, that the Kodiak is gonna make the uh, make uh, the hey, south and move to Saint Anna as the south is staying off. Two eight six now, Charlie. Forty two three. Roger, Charlie. Two eight six now, Charlie. Forty two three. Roger, Charlie. Two eight six now, Charlie. Forty two three. 